zero. Lift off. So use TMA 09M was the mission that took Expedition 36 to the International Space Station in 2013. Its commander was a Russian from the Russian Space Agency. Nyborg was an American astronaut. And uh, Luca Pomertano was from the European Space Agency. Luca Pomertano was performing an EBA and he started to feel some moisture in his spacesuit. Oh, I see it right there. Hey, Luca, can you clarify, is it increasing or not increasing? It's hard to tell, but it feels like a lot of water. Oh, I see, uh, I see it now, wiggling. Can you see? It's over here, right? Yeah, 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 I can see it in the back of my head. I don't understand where it's coming from. The metana. Water was coming into Parmitano's helmet, which was extremely dangerous. Because of how water is distributed in zero gravity in the helmet, he could have gagged. Luca first thought that the water was coming from his container. We usually carry such a container with us while performing an EVA, because it can take a pretty long time, six hours or longer. While you're working there, can you give us uh, maybe some more words on the water? Um, maybe identify the source you think, and then is it getting any worse or is it the same? Um, good questions. It feels the same, and I cannot tell you the source. My only guess is that it came out of my bag and then found its way over there in the back. My head is really wet. And I am a feeling that it's increasing. And I'm thinking that it may, I don't know if it's possible, but I'm thinking that it may be the LCVG that's leaking. The liquid cooling and ventilation garment is a long underwear with flexible plastic tubing running through that pumps cool water throughout the surface of the astronaut's skin. That's what keeps them cool. But where is it coming from? There? It's too much. I don't know. It's a lot. I started going back to the airlock, and uh, um, the water kept trickling until it completely covered my eyes and my nose. Um, it was really hard to see. I, I couldn't hear anything. It was really hard to communicate. I went back using just memory, basically going back to the airlock until, until I found it and then uh, come inside, close the, close the airlock, and uh, repressurize. All four of us who were inside, Karen, Pavel Vinogradov, Alexander Misurkin, and I got together in the airlock. The crew bringing Luca uh, through the hatch into the equipment lock. They'll be expediting uh, the removal of his suit. We quickly helped Luca get out of the airlock. We needed to lower the pressure as fast as possible and then open the helmet because it was almost full of water. There was very little space for him to breathe. As soon as the, uh, as the two compartments were equalized, uh, they doffed, uh, meaning they took off my helmet, uh, wiped my face from all the water, about uh, three, po three pounds of water, I would say. You can see some of the water floating away that it built up inside of Luca's helmet. Uh, helmet off and Luca safely back inside. 